Hi, I'm Allie Jackson Jolly. I'm here with Kyle Khan Mullins, who is a reporter with Money in Politics. Kyle, welcome, and thanks for being here with us. It's great to be here, Allie. Thanks for having me. Soon after the assassination attempt on former President Trump, the U.S. House Chair of the Oversight Committee called for the Director of the Secret Services, uh, Kimberly Cheadle, to testify before Congress. Um, both the, the House Republicans and really public opinion was questioning how this breach of security happened. Soon after that, you reported on the budget around the Secret Service, which is higher than it's been before. So can you just tell us what should we know about the Secret Service budget and really what the House oversight might be looking into with respect to their budget? Yeah, so I think there was a lot of, of confusion and anger after, of course, the assassination attempt on former President Trump. And, uh, you know, it led to a lot of questions about, like, how, what went wrong here? How did a gunman manage to get on the roof um, just a couple hundred yards away from the former president where the former president was speaking? Um, what, you know, what, what's going on? Like, isn't the Secret Service's job to protect this guy? Um, and so what I was really curious about is how much money does the U.S. government actually allocate to the Secret Service and where does that money go? Um, and when I started looking into it, I found so that the Secret Service's budget this year is about three billion dollars, which is heck of a lot of money. Um, although in the context of the broader Department of Homeland Security's budget, over $100 billion, it's not actually an enormous amount. Um, but the bigger thing is that that $3 billion is the biggest budget the Secret Service has ever had. Um, and even when we adjusted the data for inflation over the past 10 years, it's still the biggest budget that the Secret Service has ever had. Um, they've already spent $1.8 billion this fiscal year, and um, you know they're, they might honestly get an even larger budget going forward. There have already been Congress people talking about expanding uh, their budget and their role in protecting candidates. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at going forward. Yeah. And so when you say um, this is larger than it's been in a decade, um, adjusting for inflation, um, do you take a look at like when do those numbers really hike? Was it was it with President Trump? Um, in 2016, or when did you notice when you looked at the budgetary history that those numbers for the Secret Service started really hiking up? So the, the biggest and most important pattern in the data is that the numbers spike in presidential election years. And that makes sense, right? The Secret Service's job is to protect not only the president, but also presidential candidates and former presidents. Um, so as you accumulate more former presidents, and as you, uh, you know, and, and as you have candidates that need protection, um, you know, they're going to need additional resources and additional agents to handle that increased workload. Um, so we did see a spike in 2016. We saw a spike in 2020. And then now this year, we've seen a spike from last year um, for this presidential election. Yeah. And then how about because you you referenced two really interesting things. One is that um, there, we're about more than halfway through the allocated budget. Um, we know that there are calls to increase security as we inch closer to the 2024 election and more presidential candidates um, are on the road. What, you know, also give us some like context around when the fiscal year starts and ends, how, you know, how how much more time does the um, social, um, I'm sorry, the um, government have to get through this budget? And in your view, is there real concern that they're gonna have to um, reallocate funds? So yeah, they've already spent 1.8 out of that $3 billion budget. Um, and the fiscal year actually starts and ends on October 1st. So we, we are more than, you know, more than halfway through the fiscal year already. So it makes sense that they've spent more than half of their budget. Um, as for the concerns, I think the bigger concerns that the members of the House Oversight Committee are going to be looking at is, you know, is the money being spent properly? Um, and, you know, luckily we're able to get some Treasury Department data and we know what they've already spent the money on this year. Um, they've, they've spent, and it's kind of in broad categories. We don't really have more specific than that, but they spent $800 million on protective operations, kind of the stuff we're talking about now, $500 million on field operations. I'm not 100% sure what the distinction is there, but I will note that the Secret Service is actually 
weirdly enough, also in charge of anti-counterfeit operations, the counterfeiting currency. So they do have that like other little side gig on top of protecting the president. And then um, they spent $300 million on mission support, $75 million on training, $50 million on protective countermeasures, and $20 million on computer forensics. That sums up almost all the money they've spent of that $1.8 billion. Um, and so I think, you know, there's probably going to be some folks on the oversight committee who are really digging into those numbers and trying to figure out, um, you know, what, what lies under the hood there. I already know uh, one member of the committee has said that heads need to roll uh, after, this, uh, after this assassination attempt. Yeah, well, so um, I believe July 22nd is when we will see this come to um, play in, in front of the uh, U.S. House Oversight. Um, thanks for making us smarter about all of these numbers, which we should be looking at. And um, yeah, we'll stay tuned for um, more reporting if it if it warrants it. Thanks so much for being here with us. Always great to be here. Thanks, Allie.